It's Real Sociedad who sit at the top of La Liga table after this weekend's action. One point clear of Atletico Madrid. We'll speak about Atleti in a moment, but let's talk about the team that are currently fourth, the defending champions as Sid Lowe joins us. Sid, after that win against Inter Milan, I thought, right, maybe Real Madrid can get things going a little bit. No Sergio Ramos or Benzema in that game, and they still were by far the better side. Yet they come up against Alaves, and they were terrible this weekend. Yeah, they really were. Um, and, and you know, of course, what everybody wants to know is, why is this happening? How is this happening? And, and how do you fix it? And Zidane was asked after the game at the weekend, why is it that there's no consistency at Real Madrid? What's the explanation? And he said, there isn't one. I can't give you an answer. I, I haven't got the words for this. Um, I think what that does is it tells you that some of the things that Zidane thinks are wrong, he doesn't want to share publicly. I think it tells you that he's concerned about the reaction of the players and, and the fact that they clearly have the talent and the capabilities given what happened in Milan, but there's something wrong in terms of maybe it's motivation, maybe it's a, a collective spirit, maybe it's the fact that the second string players are just not as good as the first string players. But but in, in the league at least, Madrid are dreadful. You know, they've only won half of their games so far this season. They've already been beaten three times. See, are people accepting of Zidane coming out and going, I don't really know why? No, 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 not at all. And, and, and this is one of the things that people have picked up on. And there has been that sense that, well, if the manager is saying this, then there's really quite a big problem. Now, I, I think it's been slightly misinterpreted and I think a lot of people are responding to this and saying, look, this shows that Zidane doesn't know, Zidane hasn't got an explanation and can't fix it. I'm not sure it's that. I think it's that the Zidane sees things that he doesn't want to say publicly. I think he sees players disengaging. I think he sees a lack of unity in the dressing room. I think, frankly, he sees that there's a significant number of players in the squad that right now he thinks are just really not good enough. But, of course, in what's going to be a very compressed season, in what's going to be a very, uh, a very difficult season, I think, in, in terms of the physical condition of the players, they're going to be playing every three days for the entire year. I think he thinks, well, I need to activate that second string of players. I need to use them because I can't just use 12, 13, 14 players all season long. And, of course, once again, he can't use Eden Hazard out for another three weeks. Uh, this signing, it just isn't working out at all at the moment, Sid. No, let's start from Hazard's point of view. I feel very sorry for him. Um, this is, I think, his ninth injury at Real Madrid. He hasn't been able to play four games in a row at any stage in, in, in his career at the, at the club so far. This is a guy, by the way, who didn't get injured at Chelsea. This is a guy who played regularly almost every game, almost every season. And, and it's been really, really hard for him. A combination of different injuries, of course. Some have been from, from, from tackles, so you can put them down to bad luck. Some have been muscular. He's had problems with, with coronavirus as well, of course. And, and you're right, it just really hasn't worked. And, and I must admit, while it is starting to gather pace now, that sense of uh, criticism for this signing, I think actually there was relatively little in his first season. Now, of course, part of the reason for that was that the rest of the team was playing reasonably well without him. Mm. Of course, we had the, the kind of the special conditions of the lockdown, which enabled him to play some games at the end of the season, which we wouldn't otherwise have had. And, and I think there was just a, a certain degree of goodwill towards him. But, but right now, there, there are all sorts of question marks being, being asked. Bear in mind as well, that Real Madrid paid for Hazard when he only had one year left on his contract. They said that they paid around 100 million euros. There were reports in the Belgian media that it was actually closer to 160 million euros. And as I say, they did that for one season. His contract was up a year later. So it's not just that this was an expensive player. This was an expensive player for the first year of his Real Madrid career. And that year has already been thrown away. And he's now on course for the second year to be very badly hit by injury as well. He, of course, won't be involved in Real, Madrid game, Real Madrid's game against Shakhtar this week. Sid, who thought when the draw was made that this would be such a significant clash? Yeah, it does look more, more significant than any of us thought. I think, obviously, Madrid, look, they're, they're in a stronger position now than, than, than perhaps a week ago because a week ago when, when they faced into Milan, there was a genuine feeling, wasn't there, that the team that won that game would have a good chance of going through and the team that lost it would probably not go through. Now, given that it was Inter, who already had fewer points than Real Madrid, they look very much like they're not going to go through now. But Real Madrid are not guaranteed to go through. And, and as you say, because they were beaten by Shakhtar at home in the first game, this now is really significant. If they were to lose in, in the Ukraine, then they would be in a position where, where they would then have to get a good result against Borussia Mönchengladbach. And, and to be perfectly honest with you, the way that Real Madrid are playing right now, you wouldn't count on that at all. That said, obviously what we've seen in the performance against Inter last week, what we saw in the Clasico, <laughs> is that this is a Real Madrid side that for some reason respond when it really matters.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.